Breaking news into our studio in the last hour. Spokane police have told us who the suspect is in an early morning murder in Northeast Spokane. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nia Wong. Aaron Luna has the night off. Police booked Joshua Forrester into jail on first degree murder charges in connection to their discovery of a dead woman inside a Hilliard apartment. Right now, they're still not saying who she is. But let's get right to Mayor Kawash, who spoke to the person who confronted Forrester when he was on the run this morning. Mayor? Yeah, Nia, the Northeast Youth Center is actually only a block away from where the shooting happened this morning. And it was then when Juliana spoke to him before calling the police on him when he was soaked in blood. 2928 East Diamond Avenue, Lyons Apartment, Channel City Primary, gunshot or stabbing, stand back. Spokane police first heard that call around 5.30 this morning and responded to an apartment on East Diamond Avenue. Right around the same time, Juliana Howard was arriving at work at the Northeast Youth Center. When she got out of her car, there was a man standing there just covered in blood. So I was like, oh, hi, like, are you okay or anything? Because he had blood down the side of his head and I could see who was bloody and I didn't know if he needed help. Howard didn't know that there was a woman dead inside an apartment just around the corner. She said the man covered in blood didn't seem mentally right at the time. He was telling me that I reminded him of his sister and that, um, that he, <laughs> to tell them that he denounced Jesus or something along those lines. Howard says that's when she made the 911 call. We're going to mail with a bunch of blood on him, but no obvious injuries causing that blood, so there could be somebody hurt around there somewhere. Other officers found the woman inside the apartment, and police say there was a baby in there as well, which was alive and not injured. We're going to have a kid outside in my car. Hours later, Juliana Howard is still processing what happened this morning. I was face-to-face -face with a possible murderer. Like, that's insane. 